Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and today I have a beauty haul for you, and I went to a couple stores, so I just thought that I would um, put them in one video. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with it. So the first one I'm going to do is um, from Dollar Tree. I was thinking of doing the Dollar Tree makeup challenge thing, so um, I got a few things that I thought I would need. Um, I feel like I have most of the other stuff. So yeah, the first thing I got was this pressed powder by Color Mates, and just ignore my nails, they <laughs> got messed up. Um, they fell off. Um, hopefully this is in focus. Let's try this again. Oops. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I got this in the shade Rose Beige. I think this was the only color they had, or they had one other color. I think it was Medium Beige. But um, I think this one works better for me. And they also have the LA Colors Press Powder, which... Um, I think I usually hear good things about, but there is only one shade in that, and um, my boyfriend said that he thought this shade worked better for me, so hopefully it works out well. Then the next one I got was this compact makeup in the shade Light, and it's Paraben Free by Color Mates as well. I like everything I got was Color Mates, but um, yeah, it says rich, smooth, natural looking, long wearing, blah blah blah. So I bought this. Well, I first got this one because I thought it was a, a powder to set my makeup. Because I do have the LA Colors um, foundation, but I remember trying it out last year and I didn't really like it. But I was going to use that for the Dollar Tree makeup thing. But I decided, once I figured out that this was, um, it looks like a cream when I actually look at the product. So I think it is a cream, but it doesn't really say. But I'm pretty sure it is. And then, um, so I'm probably just going to use this one or the LA Colors ones. It depends on which one matches better, I guess. But, yeah, I've never tried this out. Um, hopefully it works. Yeah, it says creamy, soft, natural. So, yeah, when I first grabbed this, I thought it was a powder, but hopefully it still works out. And I got it in the shade Light. And I think they only had Light and Light Medium like one like two or three colors so I feel like Dollar Tree makeup isn't really like dark skin friendly so I'm sorry to um all the dark skin ladies out there but there is at Big Lots I always see a lot of dark darker shades for foundation at Big Lots so, I've seen like color cover girl foundations at Big Lots that are always deeper skin tones. So, if you're looking for a cheap foundation alternative, I think Big Lots, you should check it out if you have one near you. But anyways, next thing I got was this blush. And um, they didn't have any bronzers at the Dollar Tree I was at. But I thought this would kind of act as a good bronzer because it is a little darker. Um, so hopefully this will kind of like warm up my face more. If anything, like, I guess I won't use a bronzer or contour, but, um, yeah, I think, I thought I would pick this up for that reason. So that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Next thing is from Big Lots, and I got this Secret Clinical Strength, um, found, uh, not foundation, um, deodorant and it was only 75 cents and there's two like they're really small sizes but like honestly 75 cents is crazy like um usually the full size of these are about eight to ten dollars so this is my full size one that i got from target for about eight to ten dollars i don't exactly remember but um yeah so this is the size that I got in um, this twin pack from Big Lots. So there are two of them in there. And each one is 0.5 ounces. Yeah, 0.5 ounces. And the full size one is 1.6 ounces. And this is about 8 to 10 dollars. And it's like two of this whole pack is about 
more than half of this size and it's already like like it's such a good deal like honestly I think I should have went back and got more but um, I don't live close to that big lots but um, maybe if I can <laughs> go back to a different big lots hopefully they would have it but it's honestly such a good deal um, so yeah so it's literally like more than half of this and it's literally like what like 90% uh, like less than costly so like yeah I'm really like surprised at the deal and like even with like travel size deodorants like just buying one of these would be like two dollars so I'm gonna roll it up to show you how much product there is there isn't that much to be honest but for 75 cents for two of these like I think it's such a great deal so like you guys should definitely go check out your big lots and if you're like me who kind of needs the clinical strength ones then you should definitely check it out and this is an invisible solid they don't have the clear ones that are 75 cents but they do have the clear ones I saw um, the full size ones and it was like three dollars so that's definitely still a good deal so if you guys need clinical strength ones like definitely check your big lots because they have great deals the next thing I got was this Sally Hansen nail effects and this is in um, what is it called Lacey does it can't see it but yeah they also had a white version of the lace but I thought black was um, prettier and um, they had a few others but yeah this was 190 and I hope it works out well it looks really cute um, but yeah the next thing I got was this Revlon color stay um, eyeliner pen this is in black into brown so it is a brown color but I thought for three dollars I might as well try it because I usually do really like black black eyeliner but um, if it's close enough to being black then I don't mind or like even brown like I feel like sometimes is more of a softer look and I just wanted to try out um, I just wanted to try out this product and it was only three dollars which I think is a good price because I think usually this pen would cost around ten dollars don't quote me on that but usually these type of products are around ten dollars so three dollars is a good steal and like just because of the color like it's not an outrageous color that I wouldn't wear on the daily so I thought it was I definitely thought it was worth the three dollars and um, if you guys have tried this eyeliner let me know what you thought I usually use the LA colors one in from Dollar Tree but um, sometimes that brush can be a little hard to work with even though I used it a lot but I kinda just wanted to try out another pen type of eyeliner I do have experience with them but yeah I just wanted to try it out and I'm babbling but um the last two things I got were CoverGirl items and they're like nature lux um okay you can't read that but nature lux um, lipsticks this is oh they're called gloss bomb so this is in the shade 215 um, hibiscus and this other one is in 220 peony so these were like literally the two only colors that they had but they had a whole bunch of them it was mostly um, peony though the red color but yeah, I'm I actually never seen these products, so I'm not sure how old they are or if they're still on the market. But yeah, for a dollar, I thought it was a good deal. Um, so they are called a gloss bomb. So I swatched this one on my hand, and as you can see, it's very sheer and glossy. So yeah, they're not like pigmented, but I think it looks nice. I think it'll be good for like everyday wear and 
I'm assuming it's comfortable for it being glossy. It feels nice. So they kind of look the same next to each other because they are so sheer, but yeah, I think that they're probably going to be good for every day. So the last thing are going to be from CVS, and um, NYX was having a buy one get one 50% off thing, and um, I also had a 20% off coupon. If you get your flu shots from CVS, then you do get a 20% off your shopping. So I used that, but it doesn't work on sale items, so I used it on this Milani product. So, because this was on sale, so I used 20% off of on this product. So this is the Milani um, eyebrow gel tint and there's fibers in here. I have the one by Essence but I just recently dyed my hair and my eyebrows are way too light for my hair. So the Essence one doesn't tint it that much so I was trying to find a good alternative. So. I'm hoping this one will work better. This is in the shade Natural Taupe. And yeah, I'm hoping that this actually lightens my eyebrows a little bit just so that I can match my hair a little better. And um, yeah, so just hold your eyebrows in place and it adds fibers to make your eyebrows look more full if they are sparse. And it adds a little bit of a tint. So I'm not sure how this will work, but if it doesn't work out, I'll probably return it, but um, this was $8.29, and with a 20% discount, I got $1.66 off, so yeah, I'll try it out, and then if it doesn't work, I'll return it. So next was buy one, get one 50. So I got this NYX Micro Brow. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, yeah, I just decided to try it out because it was buy one get one fifty because I wanted to try this out. But I got this in the shade blonde. Like I said, my eye my hair is lighter. It's a little bit on the blonde side. Like um it was a little bit lighter than what I wanted, but I still think it looks pretty nice. So I'm hoping the blonde will help kind of create a lighter base and then with this hopefully uh, it'll match my hair better so yeah hopefully that makes sense but yeah I've heard a lot of good things about this compared to the Anastasia um, brow wiz so yeah I'm hopefully hoping that this color will still work um, with my thing if not I'll also return it or you know so I got this NYX lingerie liquid lipstick I've been really wanting to try these out and I feel like they're not in every CVS because I usually never seen these at a CVS. But the last two CVSs I've been at have been having like a larger range of NYX um, products. But usually they just have like a end cap so they don't have as much products. But the last two that I've been going to have been having a wider range. So that was pretty cool. So I got this. There's only three shades left left and then two of the other shades were like cracking like not not the packaging but like the product was cracking inside there's like lines everywhere so I thought that kind of said something about the formula being too dry or something so I didn't pick those ones up but I picked up this one this was like the only shade that they had left but it's in the shade push up and it's swatched here in my hand it looks like a really pretty color so I haven't heard really great things about this product. Um, I heard it's really drying and stuff like that, but I still wanted to try it out. There are some other colors that I would have wanted to try more, but um, yeah, I just wanted to try it out. So anyways, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my god, my nail. Okay, bye. <laughs>